The need to continue sharing ideas and training members in the pathology profession has been described as necessary to producing more professional pathologists in the health sector. The president, West African Division of the International Academy of Pathology, WADIAP, and other medical experts from the West African subregion reached the consensus at the 12th Annual Scientific Conference of WADIAP School of Pathology held in Lagos. The pathology trap practice in general is more of a generalist practice. But I'm sure that at the end of this, some of our generalists will develop an interest in forensic pathology and subspecialize in that area of pathology. The conference was an avenue to allow medical experts to learn new methods in the field of forensic pathology as well as improve the public health sector. The forensic lab in Platov was established in 2012. I'm making particular reference to it because of its size, 28,000 square meters. It has a staff of 500, and two-thirds are forensic scientists, unlike what we have in Nigeria. Forensic pathology um, is a pathology that investigates crimes that sometimes are shared with um, murder, homicide, suicide, um, infanticide, and recently we've had an increase in cases of rape and assault. So we are involved in investigations of those kind of cases. And the relationship with the legal system is that sometimes you need to prosecute those that committed those crimes. So the pathologist works together with the police and the legal team to solve all these problems. I think that's one of the most important things is public education. When patients are educated about signs and symptoms of disease that can point to cancer, then they can seek the appropriate care in the hospital. And then in the hospital, we need to have these teams in place so that when the patient comes in, the first clinician who sees can then go on to do the other tests that will help us to make the diagnosis. And then at a team meeting, we can decide on what the diagnosis is, how bad the cancer is, and then the best way to treat the patient. Surgery is not the only way to treat cancer. And sometimes surgery doesn't even treat cancer. It only helps in alleviating some of the symptoms, you know, for a while. Okay, but in some cases, there are some cancers that surgery removes. So I will just clear up some things. People always say cancers, cancers, but cancers are, are thousands and thousands of different tumors. Tumors mean new growths, abnormal growths. So a particular tissue or part of the body begins to enlarge abnormally. It's no longer its natural normal size and begins to outgrow or become bigger and there are several things that lead to such a growth. The theme of the conference, Forensic Pathology, Prospects and Challenges for Public Health and Justice System in Africa, is going to address challenges in the health sector and ensure more collaboration in achieving growth and development in the African region.